Hey guys, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everyone. This is episode 13 of our Building a Discord Bot in Python 2024 and 25 edition. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how we can set up a database with our Discord bots and use it to set up an automatic join role system. So that way, when a new member joins a server, our bot can give out a role. Now, uh, I have shown you guys how we can link a database to our Discord bots before in the past, uh, especially with my leveling system. Uh, but all it really takes for this video is just a couple uh, bits of knowledge with SQL and pretty much we are good to go from then. So first things first, let's go ahead and create our database file. Now, I know that I have made this separate from uh, my levels.db file, but if we wanted to, we could just merge these two together and then just have a separate table from our levels table. But uh, just for the sake and simplicity of this video, I'm not really going to worry about all of that. But after that, we need to import SQLite or SQLite 3 specifically. And then we need to head over to our browser and uh, go to sqlitebrowser.org and then head over to the download page and then download the DB browser for your OS. Once you download that, we can exit out. And then we need to locate the icon for DB browser. Go ahead and double click on it and you should see a screen that looks like this. Now we need to open our database by going to file, open database, go to local disk, coding, YT discord bot, cogs, and then main.db or wherever your main.db file is. Mine just happens to be uh, with my discord bot, but if yours is anywhere else, you just need to find that and then open it. And then we should see a screen that looks like this, listing some tables, indices, and etc. But we're only going to be worrying about this first thing right here, tables. We need to create a table to house all of our guild IDs. So, create table. Then we're going to give our table a name, guilds. And then we need to add a field, guild underscore ID. And this is what we are going to use uh, to basically know um, which guild we are talking about when referencing the automatic join role. Now, we can make this a primary key, and we should, that way we can avoid duplicate, or duplicate records of guild ID being present in our table. Second is auto role ID. And that can also remain as an integer, just like guild ID. Now, this is all I'm going to add, but if you want to add something like a welcome channel uh, ID or a welcome message as well, so that way you can send a welcome message, you can do that. And you can even merge all this with the uh, welcome image card system that you guys may have implemented if you have been watching from me for a while now. Uh, so there is something with that you can do with this database as well instead of using i believe i used a json file in that video so this would be a lot better if you can port over uh, that system to use this database instead and here is a preview of the sql uh, if you are curious with how that works but we're pretty much done here we can click ok and file save all and an exit now Keep in mind that uh, when our bot joins a server, we need to actually connect to the database and uh, append data to it. So what we can do here is we can type in um, bots.event async def on guild join pass in guild then we are going to type in on is equal to sqlite3.connect and let me just fix that misspell 
And then the path to our database. So cogs slash main dot db. Then cursor is equal to con dot cursor. Then uh, all we need to do from here is uh, type in cursor dot execute insert into guilds guild id values outside tuple guild dot id and then comma and that's really it all we need to do now is con dot commit con dot close now, the reason why we want to uh, close the connection afterwards is because if we leave it open, our database can actually get locked and we wouldn't be able to use it. And this can also cause a lot of other problems, uh, especially as your bot may be in multiple servers and all kinds of issues can arise from that. And we really just want to avoid that kind of thing. Now, what if our server, uh, or if our bot leaves that server? Well, we can simply just copy and paste this. Change this to remove. And instead of insert into, then what we will do is we will type in delete all from guilds where guild ID is equal to question mark. And then we'll leave the same parameter here. Which, by the way, this question mark here is going to be this parameter and that's really it so now we can go ahead and create a cog and we can call this auto roll dots pi imports discord Really cannot spell today. And then lastly, import SQLite 3. Then class auto roll commands dot cog the sync def setup. Bot. Then in here, def init self bot is equal to bot, and then commands dot cog dot listener. A sync def on ready, and whoops, didn't mean to do that. But auto roll is online. That is our on ready function. Now, what we need to do is create a command uh, that will set our automatic join role. So, uh, app commands dot command name is equal to set auto role. Description is going to be sets an automatic join role for this server. Interaction Discord dot interaction and then roll Discord dot roll and then after that we need to connect to our database which this is not right let me fix that uh, dot slash cogs slash main dot db and the reason why I'm using a different directory now is because I'm working within our cogs folder instead of outside of it. Create our cursor, cursor.execute. Uh, and what we want to do here is we want to type in update fields set and then uh, auto roll ID where guild ID is equal to that. And then roll.id. And we can remove that comma there. 
So set role ID to role.id and set guild where guild ID is interaction.guild.id. So basically I'm fulfilling these question marks with these following parameters here. Then connection.commit, connection.close, and then we can just follow up with a message. And it's supposed to be response dot send message. There we go. And that's really it. Now we need to actually make a uh, listener for when a member joins. App commands dot, or I'm sorry, whoops, it's commands dot cog dot listener. And I'm going to type in this as a discord dot member object. And then uh, what we can do here is we can just copy and paste this again. But now cursor dot execute select auto row ID from guilds where guild ID is equal to that. And uh, if you have multiple uh, columns, so instead of just role ID and guild ID, you might have channel ID and all that. Well, we can really just replace this with a star because we will get a tuple or a list coming back to us uh, whenever we submit this query here. Now, result is equal to cursor.fetch1. Fetch1 returns us a tuple, I think, or it might be a list. And then if result, then auto roll ID will be equal to result at index position one. Now, why am I using index position? Well, this is because we are getting back a collection, whether it's a tuple or a list. I'm not sure exactly, but it is a collection. And remember, when I was making our database, uh, I typed in guild ID as the first column and then role ID as a second column. And since index position start at zero to grab the second column, which is auto role ID, we need to type in index position one. And then all we need to do is uh, type in if auto role ID, then await member dot add roles member.guild.getsRoll and then auto roll ID. And this returns a role object. And that's really it. We can go ahead and exit out of this uh, on member function. And uh, something I want to point out before we run this is if your Discord bot was in other servers before this point, uh, this function here will not add them to the database. You will have to do it manually by using a for loop to loop through uh, the bot's guilds, which I think can actually be done through bots.guilds. Yeah, so bot.guilds is a list. You can loop through it and then use SQL to... Uh, append each of the guilds to the database. Or if your bot is in only one, then we can come to our server, copy the server ID, uh, go to DB browser, open our database. And then browse data. See how we have our uh, columns here and then we can execute SQL insert into guilds guild id values and just like that we can execute this and it worked so now our guild id is in here perfect now we need to click save all exit and we don't need to uh, save this in a new project file we can just click discard and just to show you that doing that does uh, keep the data, uh, we can just open this again. Just in case you want to be sure that you didn't lose whatever you put in. Open it, browse data, it's still here. Alright, let's go ahead and run this thing. So, just to make sure we have everything set, we do run our bot. Then we can uh, go ahead and actually refresh Discord because 
I have uh, added a slash command. Set auto roll. And then we're going to select the member role. And automatic role has been set to member. So now we're going to go to me six and we're going to set this uh, bot to join our server. So that way we get uh, that role added to them. So just pay attention. Test server, authorize, complete this real quick. And me six joined and was automatically given the member role. So that's it. Our database is working properly and now we are using it to go ahead and append, uh, or I'm sorry, add the member role to any new joining members. Now, why is this important? Why is this better than a JSON file? Well, databases don't get corrupted like JSON files do. See, when you have multiple servers and such, uh, JSON files can become corrupted easily, and they're also really hard to manage, whereas a database, if well designed, you can manage it a lot easier and you have less of a chance of anything going wrong within it. I use databases for most of my projects that hold uh, large amounts of data, like a Discord bot and even my website that I am developing. But uh, that is it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching and would like to see more out of this series, be sure to let me know and let me know what you might want to see out of the Discord.py series in the future. But uh, that is all for today. Subscribe, leave a like, join my Discord server. We are nearing a thousand members and uh, hopefully I will see you all next time. And also don't forget to tune in for my live streams where I'm actively in live programming the spot and also other projects but that's all for today you guys have an awesome night bye bye